Welcome to Past Us. Today we'll talk about our list of top five actors who died from Little House on the Prairie. Little House on the Prairie is an American Western historical drama television series about a family living on a farm in Plum Creek near Walnut Grove, Minnesota. The show is an adaptation of Laura Ingalls Wilder's best selling series of Little House books. So today we'll talk about our list of top 5 actors who died from the little house on the prairie. But before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 5. Michael Landon Michael Landon was an American actor, writer, director, and producer born on October 31, 1936 in Queens, New York. Born Eugene Maurice Orwitz, he changed his name to Michael Landon after entering acting school. Landon appeared in several notable roles, starring in the film I Was a Teenage Werewolf and the TV series Bonanza and Little House on the Prairie. In 1959, Landon began appearing as Little Joe Cartwright in the hit television western series Bonanza, and he eventually wrote and directed a number of episodes. After Bonanza ended in 1973, Landon created and starred in the popular series Little House on the Prairie, which was adapted from American author Laura Ingalls Wilder's Little House books. In addition to acting in the show, he also wrote and directed many episodes. Landon later acted in several television movies, many of which he also produced and directed. And he wrote two autobiographical television films. In 1991, Landon died shortly after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Number 4. Catherine McGregor Oh, oh Sterling, you do have such a wonderful way with words. And just think, with the pen and the plow, it will... Catherine McGregor was born Dorley Dean McGregor on January 12, 1925 in Glendale, California. She spent most of her childhood in Colorado. She stayed in Colorado to attend the University of Denver, where she prepared for her future career by joining the drama club. Catherine McGregor first found success as a stage actress. She received kudos for her work on the stage, which included touring productions of Edward Albee's A Delicate Balance and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Following a move back to California, McGregor continued to pursue an acting career. She was cast in small supporting roles, often playing a nurse, secretary, or teacher. On television shows such as All in the Family and Emergency, however, given the meaty parts she tackled in plays, this kind of work left McGregor feeling frustrated. McGregor retired from acting when Little House ended its run. McGregor lived in Los Angeles in the motion picture and television funds home for retired actors. She passed away on November 13, 2018. Number 3. Richard Bull <laughs> Richard Bull was born on June 26, 1924 in Zeon, Illinois, USA as Richard William Bull. He was an actor known for Little House on the Prairie, The Andromeda Strain, and Happy Days. He was married to Barbara Collantine. Bull fell into acting by accident. I never gave a serious consideration about becoming an actor. As a senior in high school, I decided to study music, but a friend suggested we attend the Goodman Theatre School. In two weeks, the friend dropped out, but I was hooked. There was a three-year interruption while he served as a radio operator for the Army Air Corps, but when he was discharged in 1946, he resumed his acting studies at Goodman. After years of living in Los Angeles, he moved back to Chicago in 1994 with his wife, Barbara Collentine. The couple moved to the motion picture and television Funhouse from Chicago in September 2012. He made more than 100 film and television appearances. Bull died on the morning of February 3, 2014 at the motion picture and television Country House and Hospital in Calabasas. He was 89 years old. Number 2. Kevin Hagan Here's some more pills. You just keep taking them. Oh, thank you, Doc. Hagen was born on April 3, 1928 in Chicago, Illinois. Kevin Hagen is the son of professional ballroom dancers Hakun Olaf Hagen and Marvel Lucille Wadsworth. His father abandoned the family when Kevin was five. He was raised by his mother, grandmother, and two aunts, with some help from his uncle, a physician. The family moved to Portland, Oregon when Kevin was a teenager. He played baseball and football at Jefferson High School. He attended Oregon State University before enlisting in the U.S. Navy after World War II. He served in San Diego. Hagen married four times. He was an American actor best known for his role as Dr. Hiram Baker on NBC's Little House on the Prairie. In 2004, Hagen was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. He died on July 9, 2005 at his home in Grants Pass. Hagen was survived by his wife, Jan, who he met in 1993, and his son, Christopher. Number 1. Dabs Greer We have felt the caring friends. 
Dabs Greer was an American actor who was active for more than 50 years in the show business. He was known for playing diverse roles including those of merchants, businessmen, preachers, as well as assorted shades of villains. With a simple looks, distinctive voice, and unique attitude, he was a solid supporting actor. Born in Fairview, Missouri, he was the only child of his speech therapist mother and pharmacist father. His first acting role was on the stage in a theatrical production when he was just eight. Following his graduation from Drury University, career landed roles in film and television. He was active until 2003. He's probably better known to later audiences as the old version of Paul Edgecombe, a character played by Tom Hanks in the 1999 fantasy crime drama The Green Mile. On a personal note, the actor never married and fathered no kids. He eventually breathed his last in 2007 at the age of 90 after a battle with heart disease and renal failure. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button. And see you in the next video.